Yesterday I reached an important milestone in my postdoc and I went through enough pipette tips to make a PCR strip to Brack. So here's a quick post for those who don't know this lab hack. Um, so basically, you can make a little free, well free if you count the pipette tips, holder for your PCR strip tubes um, using these inserts that come out of your pipette tips. Um, so often we get these pipette tips in these racks and then we can refill the containers. Then when we're done with the racks, we can tape them together and make a PCR strip tube holder. So I didn't see like anyone had these here and I was like so confused. Um, in my old lab, I had like a pile like this high. But anyway, um, the best size ones are like the yellow ones or like some sort of ones that were like from a 20 or 200 microliter one. If you have the bigger guys, these are going to be like too big. It's going to go bleh. The smaller guys are going to be too small. But don't fret. You can stick these ones on the bottom of the ones that you want. So even if you haven't gone through two of the good size ones, um, you still have the alternative. Um, or you can still put that one, one on top and then put the, the like bad one on the bottom. Then all you have to do is take your tape. Where the heck did I do with the tape? Uh, take the tape. You want to make sure that you're not taping like on the bottom that it's going to like inhibit the, um, you want to have like good size tape. If it's too big or if you have it on the bottom, it's going to make it not st like stand. And if it's on the top, then it can get in the way of your tubes or like stick to your tubes and stuff. Um, then just tape it around and voila. And of course, um, or I don't know about of course, but I always put my name or my initials on here. Um, and now I have a tip tube rack um, in addition to putting my initials on it so that I know that it's mine and if I leave it somewhere uh, people know that it's mine. It's really helpful is when you put this like so you take your PCR strip over to the PCR machine and then your stuff's gonna be in the PCR machine. You can stick your rack on top of the block um, and this way people know that you are using that PCR block um, and that when the run's done or whatever if you haven't taken your stuff out then they can come and nag you or they can stick your tubes in the fridge or something if they need to use the block. Um, and so, yeah, so that is really great. Oh, uh, these are really good if you're especially doing like work with radioactivity or stuff where you're going to, if you contaminate one of these, it's not the end of the world because then you just like stick it in the radioactive waste and you don't have to worry about like having lost a bunch of money uh, because you were reusing, recycling, whatever you want to call, repurposing um, your tip rack um, holder thing in my bob. So, happy. Pipetting, tip rack holding, I don't know, hope this helped.